Hey y'all. Hello. Hello, Gamma. See if anybody else shows up. Got someone watching. Excuse me. Well, at least one person's watching. So, I will at least go ahead and go to the area. Yeah, 
Yeah, those guys aren't so scary. If you can... One shot him with a... Parry? Hey, that rhymes! I think that might be a new thing. Is someone in here or am I talking to myself? Oh, hi! How you doing, Mom? Mom? I already said it. Oh! <laughs> oh, no problem! 
doing? I just wanted to make sure I wasn't alone, you know? Like, even if... Even if, like, you can see the VOD and pick everything up, I'm like, I didn't want to... Um, be the only one here, you know? I didn't want to, like, be the only one, you know? I was gonna be like... Here's how you deal with the Snatcher. But... I mean, you can do it in this way. If you can one-shot him. Whew. But... If you can't... I was gonna be like, here's the really stylish way, but I'm too tough to do it now. <laughs> so all I did right now I'm in the Hypogean jail which is um, where we went to when we got killed by the Snatcher I started up here and I murdered the two guys over here and they just cleared out this room down here So far, all the doors have been closed. So here's the way we gotta go. And we got the moon glyph. <laughs> Me too! But I usually don't do, um... until after that guy too but so I'm feeling pretty confident so I'm gonna go for it of moon as spoken by the great ones inhabiting the nightmare 
you get more blood echoes when you have this equipped. The great ones that inhabit the nightmare are sympathetic in spirit and often answer when called upon. So... Bailey! I'm actually gonna go equip this. Cause I need some blood echoes. physical isn't that much. So I'm just gonna replace that with blood echoes. So like as you can kind of see the Yarnum headstone takes us into Yarnum. We got the frontier one which pretty much takes us to Hemwick and the woods right now. And then there's the Unseen Headstone, which is for kind of stuff that's removed from most other things. Like the Abandoned Old Workshop, which is kind of a secret place. And Canehurst, which is kind of hard to get to. And the Drill, which is also kind of hidden. Does, um... Does what work with bosses? Hey, super dwarf! Hey, guy! Whoops, that was my bad finger. And that was me not paying attention. I shouldn't have loaded up on the stupid bitch fields before I start doing this. Oh, whoops. So there's kind of a weird glitch here. There's this pig here, right? This guy. And if you stand, like, actually in the entrance here. But sometimes he can become kind of invisible. Oh, yep, like that. Whoops! Just as easy to deal with as the one in Yarnum, though. So, again, if you took a bit to get here. This is the place where we go when the Snatchers kill us. 
Hypogean Jail is the um, name of the place, or the lamp, and we are in Yahargul, the Unseen Village. And we have a Lorna. <laughs> Behold, a pale blood sky. Well, that doesn't look that different. Although, and this is true in Yarnum too, have you noticed how it's so overcast? But you can see the moon in front of the clouds? That's kind of weird. Yeah? Oh, thank you! Yeah! Hey, oh, you want to fucking pull? Anything that's a dog? Like these guys? Or the early dogs? Or... Like, anything that acts like these? Even if it's one... Well, if I die, that's no good. Okay, I'm left to show you with another dog. Oh yeah, that's one of the reasons those guys are dangerous. They can close the distance with you extremely fast, even though they seem to be slow. Hey, I used to play those games all the time when I was little, and I was so bad at them. One of the reasons I'm going here is because I need blood echoes and I also need upgrade materials. And I'll show you why in a sec. Or well in a few minutes. Oh man! I forgot that I went to the dream since I killed those people. So there's one shortcut. So you guys hear that creepy chanting? One of the very, very few tracks in the game that plays outside of a boss fight or the hunter's dream. Maybe the only one. That is diegetic. Diegetic. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Oh, before I tell you what that means, here's some dogs. And what I was saying is if you shoot them with any kind of blood pinch thing, which is like most guns, even if it's just like one bullet from the blunderbuss, it knocks them on their ass like that. Yeah. Hey, we got an armor set. Let's see what this one has to say. We get hard little set. <clears throat> Thick black pullover worn by hunters of the unseen village. The hunters of Yahargul answer to the village's founders, the school of Mensis. 
Hunters in name only, these kidnappers blend into the night wearing this attire. Designed primarily to defend from physical attacks, the binding of thick ropes serves both to protect its wearer and restrain his foes. And then we got the helmet. The black hooded iron helm. There's an alternate version of this. But this was the one with the hood. This is an iron helmet worn by hunters of the Unseen Village. The hunters... Okay, that's um... Oh yeah. Hunters in name only. These kidnappers wear their black hoods low to shadow their eyes. This helm was made of metal. A rarity for hunter garb. And has high defense, but only against physical attacks. And you can kind of see that there. And even its thrust defense is pretty terrible. Oh yeah! By Diogetic? Diogetic? I mean... It is sourced from inside the game. It's not just like background music. Cause have you noticed that it's loudest when I'm nearest the gate? This chanting is actually happening in the game. It's not just like a stylistic thing for the player to hear. Here is a death pit. This turns into a shortcut later. To where? I wonder. But we'll find out eventually. And down right here, there's a pit. So, like a police officer, only bigger? And let's see if I can kill him without getting run over and murdered. Bye! out because nobody was here. Well, maybe one person was here when I got it first. This is basically the fire paper, except it gives you bolt instead of fire. Invented by Archibald, the, fam the infamous eccentric of the Healing Church workshop. Artificially recreates the blue sparks that are said to surround dark beasts. Unlike the other strange weapons created by Archibald, this one was favored by many hunters. In particular, those who have even once laid eyes on the Dark Beast. And so up here, there's some doggies. And we are gonna stab and kill them, because they're mean. Oh, 
Oh, here's a little bit about the game. There's a little bit of difference in the evade to do. Notice how when I'm locked, when I'm locked onto an enemy, I do this kind of slide thing. But when I'm not, I do the roll. And I'm pretty sure I'd have to check the wiki or whatever, but I'm pretty sure the way it works is they both have about the same amount of iframe. But the dodge roll takes you faster. Or takes you farther. Sorry. So that's why sometimes I'll unlock from an enemy while I'm fighting it is because I want to dodge but I want to get away a little further. bother to deal with. the main reason to go here if you're not doing our build, which is the Tantras. A unique trick weapon contrived by Archibald, the infamous eccentric of the Healing Church Workshop. Striking this peculiar Iron Warning Star flail like a match generates the same blue sparks to blanket a dark beast. Unfortunately, for reasons untold, the Hunters of Archibald's time did not fully take to the device. And we're never going to have enough strength to actually use that, but it's really nice. It's one of the only, maybe the only Hunter weapon that instead of um, actually changing forms, transforming it, quote unquote, actually gives you a buff. And that adds arcane scaling and bolt damage to the weapon. So it's invaluable for dealing with stuff that is weak to bolt, which is actually a lot of late game enemies. So let's head back. I want to replenish my consumables and buy something. I'll get this in case I want to use it ever. That one was the co-op bell, and this one is the PvP bell. And what I want to get right now is Henrik stuff. And I read out the description of that earlier, but as you can see, 
This has really high bolt defense. And that's that starts not mattering as much in like New Game Plus or deeper into the uh, Chalice Dungeons, but against some bosses and stuff in the first part, it's pretty useful. So I'm gonna spend some insight on that. <laughs> and I am also gonna go here because when I got that, um, what's it called? The Canehurst badge here. When I got that last time, that unlocked a few new things at the shop here. And one of them is the Chikage. For a made weapon wielded by the royal guards who protect Annalise, Queen of the Wildbloods at Kinghurst Castle. When the intricate rippled engraving that spans the Chikage's blade is imbrued with blood, the sword sings in scarlet hues. However, the right eats away at the wielder's very essence. So we're gonna buy this. And let's see how many um, stones we got to power it up. Hmm. Let's see if we can get some more bloodstone shards. Something I should have gone over before. So, most normal weapons, um, like right hand weapons, scale with either, well, both strength and skill. You can see on the right, everything has an arcane scaling also, but for most weapons, that actually doesn't make a difference at most times. When it does make a difference, that's the star all the way on the right. It's a D on the saw cleaver. On the saw cleaver. Um, is when you buff it with like um, fire paper, bolt paper. I'm not sure if it affects the um, arcane one. The let me check. The name. Empty Phantasm Shell, that's what it's called. I don't know if it affects that, but at least with the consumable stuff, um, the more arcane scaling, the more effect those have. And we've also got stuff like the Rider Polish and the Rifle Spear and the Chikage, but that's a bit different. Uh, they have both physical scaling and blood scaling. And you can see they've got uh, blood tinge scaling too. That's the one that's uh, third from the left there under attribute bonus. The blood tinge scaling only affects the blood attack. And strength and skill only affect the physical attack. So basically the gun part is blood tinge and the hitting part is strength and skill. The Chikage also has blood scaling, and it works pretty similar, except the strength and skill apply in its normal mode, and only blood tinge applies in its um, transformed mode, and it doesn't shoot bullets but we're going to see why it's such a cool weapon in a sec. And I am so glad that I saved those chunks. 
So also under attribute bonus, those letters there, I don't think I ever talked about this either. Those affect how much your stats affect those um, bonuses. So like, you see strength E and skill E and skill C under the Chikage. That means that your strength doesn't really affect the physical attack of the weapon much, but your skill affects it a lot more. And that's that, like if you see next to physical attack, there's the 155 base, and then the plus 47. That 155 is the base physical attack of the weapon. That applies, like, as long as you have enough stats to wield it, that applies no matter what your stats are. And then that plus comes from your stats and also any blood gems you have. So, like, if you have no blood gems, that means this 47 just comes from my strength and skill. But just like the Rifle Spear and the Rider Polish, for Blood Attack, that's Blood Tinge only. And our Blood Tinge scaling on this weapon is A. So if we have a lot of Blood Tinge, the Blood Attack on this weapon is going to get better real fast. So it's not that much right now, but it's going to get pretty fun soon. Physical attack up. And more physical attack. As you can see, blood also counts as physical attack. Oh yeah, these... I didn't really point this out, but there's three... Well, four technically different kinds of bloodstone, blood gems. There is, um, radial, I think that's what this is called. Yeah, radial, which is these kind of spiky ones. And there's triangle, which is the triangular ones. Waning, which is kind of the, um, crescent moon shape. And Droplet, which is the round one. So Waning, Triangle, and Radial Gems can only fit into a matching slot on the weapon. Most normal weapons have two Radial and one... Either one um, Triangle or one Waning one. But you can get weapons from uh, Chalice Dungeons that are special. Oh, and I'm not sure if I mentioned, but the round blood gems, the circle ones, can go in any kind of slot. So we could put this one in here and get some extra blood attack, but this one's better anyway. 67 as opposed to 52. So let's put this in here. And since I want to use the rifle spear for backup, We'll put our next best blood gems in here. Upgrade the Avalan later. Mm. Welcome. What? 
Very oh, well. thank you. Let yeah, there's a lot of stuff in this game. It's not really obvious. Let me... Um, one of the things also is like with the four attack stats. Most they you get diminishing returns with those. So like, or at least with weapon attacks you do. So like, um, at twenty five. You have, like, I forget what the number is, like, at least half, but maybe more, like, maybe 70, 60% of the effect you'd have at 99. And then at 50, you have, like, definitely more, like 80 or something like that. So that's why I stopped at 25 for skill, is because I have, like, the majority of what I'd get, so it lets me use stuff like the Rifle Spear and the Rider Polish that scale with skill, but also use Blood Tinge pretty effectively. But I'm going to get my Blood Tinge up to 50 so that my attacks with the Transformed Chikage and with bullets are super powerful, and I'm not going to touch Arcane at all. This is about the endurance I have, I'm going to have, like, ever. Um, it's not super important for this kind of build. I would get more if I was going to do some other kind. And then vitality is your hit points, so you kind of want to upgrade that anyway over time as you go. Because you pretty much get diminishing but pretty good returns until 50. And then after 50, it really slows down a lot. So uh, that's why I'm kind of doing that bit by bit. And let's see if I have enough Hello. stuff to level up one more time. See if I can take this boss. Gonna eat this up. Thank you. I'm probably gonna hop off after this guy, and a little bit I'm gonna do after that. Is it going to be? I'm just going to wait for this guy this time. Because I don't really want to find him now. Oh! I have one more stop to make. I forgot about this lady. So last time she was scared of us. We dress up like a healing church person. Oops. If they'll if they won't be so scared. See? Now I look kinda like one of those big church doctor guys. Just like this lady. You've got to save me. Oh, thank you, dear saint. I have no words to express my relief. You can take this at least. 
and she gave me the skull of a dead person brimping with, um, eldritch knowledge. I guess that's what you'd give a healing church priest to make them happy. Short of pleasing up to that member of the church like you. Uh-huh. Oh, thank you so much. Dear God. Thank you so much. I was seized on the street by a hulking brute in the cathedral ward and locked up here. There were many others, but they've been taken away. And I've heard moans echoing in the distance ever since. So, the hunt is on tonight. Then the streets are perilous and every door will be shut tight. Perhaps it isn't my place to ask, but do you know somewhere that might take me in? Oh, be nice to her. Oh, thank you so much. I'll set out as soon as I can. I pray for success on your hunt. Kind hunter. I'll set up cut. Just repeating lines. Let's put on our hunter gear again. Oh yeah! We got two kinds of hunter guard. Uh, one has a cloak and one doesn't. And they actually have a little bit different stats. Although not so much you'd usually notice. This one has- the one without the cloak has better frenzy resist and beast hood, and the one with it doesn't. I'm honestly not sure which one I like the look of better. They're both pretty dope. And we got duplicates of those from the two different hunter sets we picked up. One of them came with the hunter hat, and one of them came with the top hat. But the rest of the pieces, or the gloves and the boots rather, are the same. And then one of them had the cloak, or the cape, and the other didn't. So what we can pick up from that is those big snatcher guys weren't just stealing us, they were stealing other people too. Creepy! And she- oh seriously? And she just distracts you from that other lady? little tunnel and hop down here and here's another NPC you can summon we're not gonna though because I want to give this a better try City items talked about dark beasts. Well,
It worked. It's a katana normally. You can cut stuff with it. You can stab things with it. You can giga stab things with it. You can jump and slash things with it. And by transforming it, it turns into a two handed sword that does entirely blood damage and uses your blood tinge only. And it takes some of your blood, i.e. health, to use. Another neat thing about it is if you transform it and then hit R1 pretty soon after, yeah, Jutsu! Uh, okay. And one of the nice things about having some skill with this uh, you can do a blood tinge build that's like almost all blood tinge, but with some skill, we can use the untransformed Chikage and kill easier enemies pretty quick without having to sacrifice our health. him down, and that's a good way to deal with the damage to him. Another thing about the EI Distance Strike is it does significant damage compared to your regular attack, like a regular R1.
That's, oh no! That almost killed me. Oh, that did kill me. Oh, that was so close. Oh, I wonder how many times I died just now. Yeah, if you have the Chikage transformed 
and you die and respawn then it's still transformed when you respawn so you keep losing health until you die if you don't um untransform it and that's what happened I lost my souls anyway last time I died so I didn't lose anything Spark Hunter badge for that. Oh, thank you. Badge crafted in secret by Archibald, the infamous eccentric of the healing church for his friends. Archibald was fascinated by the blue sparks that emanate from the hides of the dark beasts and dedicated his life to its artificial reproduction in a style of inquiry that, incidentally, closely follow the methodology of Bergenworth. Yeah, I was so surprised! I like... That was not as clutch as um, Lagarius, but pretty clutch. And now, I'm gonna show you something obscure that not a lot of players have probably seen in the game, like in prison. Not the store. This door is the end of that alley in Old Yarn that we couldn't open before. Hey, okay, werewolf guy. So remember our guy, Yura, who shot at us with the Gatling gun before? He has kind of an inexplicable 
mechanic in the game. Um, he turn he starts out like neutral to you actually. Oops, this is the wrong way to go. And he goes hostile when you approach him from the front of the tower. And he also, like if he wasn't already hostile, turns hostile if you kill beasts like in front of him in that area. Which by the way, I'm pretty sure I'm not positive, but I think that includes that um, big dangerous church that we're about to not go through over here. So like if you set it on fire, I think he stays mad at you because any like beasts in there will die the next time you approach it but there is one way to make him not hostile if you've made him mad before and that's to kill dark beast parl so unless i accidentally pissed him off just now we're going to get to see something unusual. Because I'm pretty sure most players just go up here and knock him off of his tower and kill him. Let's see if I did this right. Well, well. How did you get in here? It's no matter. What brings you to old Yarnum? I've no interest in matters further up. But you must not disturb this place. The beasts do not venture above and mean no harm to anyone. If you still insist on hunting them, then I will hunt you first. You understand me? Again? He kind of has a point, because if they're not going up above, there's, like, I mean, who else is in Old Yarnum? This guy. So, and I'm done with Old Yarnum anyway. I've pretty much killed everyone I want to hear. So, let's humor the guy. Yes, very good. I no longer dream, but I was once a hunter too. There's nothing more horrific than a hunt. In case you fail to realize, the things you hunt, they're not beasts, they're people. One day you will see. Mm -hmm. It's time you got going. But first, a farewell gift. I have no use for it anyway. Oops. What is it? Surely I need not repeat myself? Go, I say. You have the whole night to dream. Yeah. Make the best okay. of it. What is it? Go. Alright, and I'll show you what those badges I got give you. We got Rope Molotov Cocktails, which are basically like the regular ones, except instead of throwing them ahead, you throw them behind you. We got Bolt Paper. We got the ton of trist to buy, and we also got the stake driver. A trick weapon fashioned by the workshop heretics, the powder kegs. Favored by the retired hunter Yura. The stake driver, with his queerly complex design, violently drives thick stakes into the flesh of, of foes. 
The stake driver allows for high damage critical attacks, but it's difficult to use and leaves its wielder wide open. But none of this should bother a mere powder keg. And we're not, again, gonna have enough strength to use that. That's a strength weapon, that's that kind of, um, pile bunker that Euro was wearing. Oops. And... Oh hey, we got this! That's also something that comes with the Kanehurst badge, in addition to the... The, um... The Chikage? Silver armor worn by the Royal Guards who protect Annalise. Queen of the Vilebloods at Kanehurst Castle. This paper-thin silver armor is set to deflect blood of ill intent, and is what allows the royal guards to capture prey for their beloved queen so that one day she may bear a child of blood. You, And this has some of the best physical defense in the game, because it's made of metal. It's not that great against other stuff, so we're not going to spend money on it yet. But we are going to sell this identical pair of hunter gloves and trousers. And I think that's all the duplicates we have for army now. Yep. Need to get some more chunks for the Chicago. Oh! We can start doing the Evelyn now. As you can see, the um. Well, I don't have the Hunter Pistol, but. These guys have like. The Blunderbuss has B scaling for Blood, blood Tinge at plus 3. This guy has C at plus 2. And this guy already has B at plus one, so that's um, going to scale really well with our blood damage. Didn't she use it yet? Oh well. It'll be good and ready for when we do. Alright. After I level up, I am whoops done for tonight. Gonna get some more blood tinge, get that Chicago and bullet attack up. Farewell. I think I have some stuff to level up again. Oh. I guess I don't. I guess I used all that. Okay. Uh bye everyone! Thanks for watching! Um if you're Ellie, I'll see you again in a minute. Bye! Have a good night!